Welcome back, everybody, for another episode of Monster Train. And for now, continuing with our regular runs, getting back in the swing of things. Maybe we'll try a challenge after one more win here. So let's see if we can score that win. We got Exiled Awoken with Basic Hellhorn. I've been getting the Exiled Awoken uh, quite a few times recently, but that's all right. Haven't had the uh, hero much before that, so good good opportunity to practice. And yet again, Sarah of the Patient is our boss. Well, some we'll have to deal with. Uh, I swear I haven't had a different boss in like five or six runs. So hopefully that'll change at some point. But for now, we'll just um, try to play around it. All right. So we got some fine grasps, decent, and horn breaks. So between that and the torches, we have just so many ways to hit weak units. Uh, so that's kind of nice to start, at least. Got our rootsies, of course. Um, the edge prior not looking too great here, seeing as we have zero healing spells at the moment. So that one's probably going to end up getting removed, but we'll see what we find. All right, summon abilities or spikes. Hmm. So Spike is generally good with Awoken, but definitely worse when you don't have the healing synergies or the base hero to really get spikes going. We don't have any way to generate spikes at the moment. Uh, of course, we don't have any summon abilities at the moment either, but at least one version of the champion has a summon ability. Granted, that's just things to your hand, so I don't know that I want to be adding six things to my hand instead of three, but it's probably worth something. And I just don't know how well we can make the spike thing work with um, no healing synergies to, to get that going. So I'll pick up the summon thing and uh, see what we can find on our champion upgrade here. Mm. Alright, and uh, once again we don't find the thing we want. Instead we have quick and sweep. And as usual, uh, I think I've talked about this before, but maybe that was on the video that I got uh, deleted, is... Um, the sweep ability is very nice, but the problem with it early in the game is you end up rooting powerful enemies and they can just overwhelm you, uh, whereas the quick is just generically good and if you can stack a big floor it ends up being quite powerful as well. So this is something I like to try to pick up later in the run when um, my floors are already quite good and then I can uh, at least make sure the pirates are taking damage, but for the time being we'll go ahead and grab quick. And uh, I'll be a little sad about our relic not doing anything. Enemies in each floor, I think we can handle it. We have so much direct damage that uh, we should be able to kill a good number of the initial wave. We'll take a little damage, but it's nothing. It should be too, too bad. And here we go, two torches and a horn break. Uh, just trying to figure out where I'd like to place my units. I certainly am looking to kill all of these clergymen uh, with these spells. So I might deploy on the last floor and that way we get a free kill on the clergymen next turn. That seems good to me. Uh, the incoming damage next turn doesn't so, so much either. Alright, uh, well, I'll certainly be killing the collector here and I would like to get a train steward going um, I do also want to torch one of these guys just to reduce the damage coming in a little bit and I think I might actually put the steward in the front and we can try to replace it down the line here and just buff up our champ and thanks to quick we'll get to at least get a hit off here um, so that'll be good Alright, now, unfortunately, our direct damage isn't very strong, um, but we can get this down to 20 with a horn break, I suppose. Uh, so that'll be fine. I definitely want to torch this guy. And let's see. There's no real point in killing this priest or this priest, unfortunately. So this vine grass not doing much for us, but that's okay. Um, I'll just deploy 
a train steward down at the bottom. No, I think I'd rather root seeds actually. Get an extra draw. Um, I mean, I might as well kill this. But it just doesn't accomplish too, too much for us. Uh, well, this is going down by 24. So a root seeds um, makes it Dido single hit the pyre. Might as well torch the priest and uh, get a unit back here. And we're hoping our champion stats are just good enough to handle this guy, which they really should be. Yep, that'll totally fine. So there we go. Um, took the trial, took a little bit of damage, but nothing too, too much. Definitely worth the money, I think. This is an interesting choice. Glimmer is usually one I like to pick up early, but we have so many ways to deal direct damage already. I don't feel the need for an AoE. Uh, we just have ways to deal with backline units that aren't AoE that are totally fine. Sap I generally like, but it being the only healing spells may be a little bit awkward, but maybe it's still good enough. Uh, and Steel Enhancer just can be good. There's uh, multi-strikers and sweepers and stuff you like to buff in the Awoken camp. Um, so, but I think I'll pick up a heal. Alright, love seeing Hidden Passage. Um, even though, obviously, Ash is the Fallen, nice with these imps, um, the Hidden Passage is absolutely huge because the whole plan with the uh, with this version of the champion is to try and get a massive floor that's all quick and uh, never taking damage, ideally. So, definitely 100% the Hidden Passage there. And let's go visit our Merchant of Steel and see if we can't find a nice unit to buff up. Alright, Spikes, Rage, and Large Stone. Kind of a weird combination there. Okay, we have our option of an Alpha Fiend or a Horned Warrior. We had Spikes, Rage, and Large. Very interesting. Um... So, I could fit a Horned Warrior behind our champion, as long as I don't put a large stone on it, which is fine. But I could also pick up the Alpha Fiend and actually put a large stone on it, uh, hope that it survives on its own a little bit, and then we use our Ascent to put it behind the champion, and find something smaller to put behind it initially down the line. So, I think I like that a bit better. Alpha Fiend's pretty strong. So let's give that a go. Uh, 65 is a good amount of health. Um, I don't think I'm going to bother with a reroll here. I'd really like to find multi strike, and I can't afford it if I reroll. So. Uh, and these just don't excite me enough. So, yeah. We'll, uh, we'll go ahead with that. Stronger units for a draft. I don't think that'll be a problem. Again, we have to direct damage to eliminate the scariest ones, and we'll have our quick units to uh, hopefully deal with some of the bigger units. Uh, we do have haste on this level, so that's something to think about for sure. Um, we do find our vine grasp, which is nice. And again, because of the hidden passage, I'm looking to play uh, our champion at the top. Then play the Alpha Fiend in the middle and plan to ascend it uh, down the line. And we'll go ahead and eliminate the Haster and uh, grant this extra attack. That seems fine. Um. And yeah, hands like these are exactly uh, what I'm in the market for. Uh, just trying to think here. I do think I want to eliminate the Haster again. Unfortunately, as much as I'd love to just kill two of these uh, to get the, to the collector naturally, I can't do that, so I'll have to also blast the collector and just kill one of these. Uh, I'm taking 14, it's kind of a lot, but I think we'll be okay. Bought that large stone for sort of this reason. Um, okay, 
nice. So I do want to get a train steward going, and this guy can eat a hit. Yeah, I think that's worth uh, doing. Watch that. And really hoping to find our ascend sometime soon here. Okay, there it is. We're kind of in great shape. Um, I can throw a regeneration on this, I guess. Why not? Um, and then kill you. And these guys aren't going to accomplish anything, so not too worried about them. Alright, horn break to kill this, and we should be in phenomenal shape. And indeed we are. So that worked out basically exactly how we wanted. And let's see what we find. Uh, razor sharp edge or a sting. Razor sharp edge tends to be good. It's just a really big buff. Um, and we're going to have a stacked quick floor, so I don't mind picking that up. Over sting and another vine grasp. Seems alright. And these little less excited about the Molting Imp. Again, sort of decent with Ashes, but still just not that exciting. Um, I mean, we have room for a couple of single tile units to sort of support the Alpha Fiend before he gets ascended. So I could see this Imp sort of being it. I don't think it's quite worth it. Okay, and Animus of Will is pretty much perfect. We'll uh, look to improve that and stick it behind our champion to begin. So grab that one. Alright, we got a duplicate with a Hellhorn unit or a Woken and a Merchant of Magic. Uh, the Merchant of Magic basically just looking to do something with this hidden passage. None of the rest of our cards are that exciting, though getting some spell power on my corn break or whatever is certainly not a bad thing. On the other hand, we could simply duplicate the hidden passage, which would um, probably be helpful down the road. And Hellhorn units tend to be better uh, than Awoken when you're playing the Exile Clan, I think. So I might go that route, uh, then look to visit this Merchant of Steel to improve our units, and then find a Merchant of Magic somewhere down the road, maybe. That seems okay to me. Let's, um, let's visit the banner first. Consumer of Crowns. I don't believe I have any way to cheat that into play, unfortunately. Uh, and Steelworker is just absolute trash, so we're going to skip that one. Let's see what's in the caverns. Okay, you get the rail spikes. Um, I'll just go ahead and do the train steward. Well, I wonder if the edge prior is actually uh, a more important remove, but they're probably both bad, so... Uh, just do the train steward. This guy at least fits in front of an alpha fiend to eat a hit. It's not great, but it is uh, it is something, at least. And yeah, I think of these choices, the hidden passage is to duplicate. Uh, we're just going to need these down the road. Though missing on the unit there is actually kind of a big deal. We, we need to find a few units to actually stack on that floor for this plan to work out well. Alright, and here, um, I think we try doing the same thing we did last time, set up on the last floor, uh, put a fiend here, unfortunate that it's going to eat damage. I guess we could save it over playing a train steward, it's probably okay. Alright, and we're already in pretty good shape. Um, I guess the train steward's stronger than this animus by a good bit at the moment, though this can be buffed uh, with all of our root seeds to pretty decent effect. 
this guy has enough health to maybe stand on his own on another floor. So I think I'll do it like so. And if this can survive long enough that we can also ascend it, that would be great. But if not, it's fine. Alright, let's see. So we're going to go hit, 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 hit. So if we eliminate one of these units, I oh no, we can't quite kill this because of the damage shield still. Um, torch that and razor sharp edge. Oh, I can just razor sharp edge this. That would have been the correct play maybe, but I can also do this. And that probably does it. There we go. Okay. Um, and you know what, sure, let's give this guy some regeneration, why not? So yeah, again, our plan sort of working. We do, um, there's a couple of things that need to happen. We need to find more units that we can actually send, and we need to make our champion a little bit tougher for the boss, um, is the one that attacks right away, so... We need to find a way to actually survive uh, those attacks. Oh, let's put this guy in the front. Also occurs to me once we make the um, Animus here strong like it is now, the Alpha Fiends having a hard time actually getting hits, but... Just have to work around that, I guess. Uh, let's kill that. Uh, I'll break you, maybe. And give this some extra attack. Alright, and we should be in perfectly fine shape from here. Probably don't need to play any of these cards, but you know, might as well be safe. Alright, there we go. The champion's even surviving this. Yeah, maybe we can find like a card that moves the unit to the front. I guess we have the um, Vine Grasp, so we could use that on maybe our own Alpha Fiend or something to put it up ahead of the champion. That could work. Spike, spores, and rail spike. We have what, an Awoken banner coming up? So I mean, I could pick this up as a uh, sort of slow way to get a Rejuvenate tank powered up. And it's like, okay on a different unit. Then two rail spikes. Uh, don't really like the spike of the hellhorn too much. It just ends up being kind of a weak effect unless you have just an absolute crap ton of energy. This one's pretty good. Uh, we don't really have zero cost cards other than two vine grasps, so that ends up being decent a lot of the time. Makes your stuff cheaper going forward. Uh, I think that's probably just a safer pick. All right, we do get a unit here at least. Uh, we do find a tank that if we wanted it, though it is a three tile unit, which is worth noting. It's a rail beater, but that's not really going to survive for too long. Um, it's rejuvenates to cultivate, which is kind of nice. But we just have almost no ways of healing other than our one sap. Oh, this is tough. This is definitely tough. These are just not quite the units we were looking for, unfortunately. Um, so I think I'd still take a skip there and look to maybe duplicate something down the road. Um, and here, I 
think I'll take energy. We have the rail spike to put the energy into. We have root seeds to help us draw extra cards. Should be okay. I'm definitely going this way. Um, I do want to take another look at a banner, and the Merchant of Steel should be pretty good for us as well. Let's actually do our champion first, mm -hmm. see if we can find a tankier version. We do not. Um, that said, the sweep is starting to be decent now. Uh, we're gonna have a big floor stacked up, so we don't mind stuff getting stuck there, and the sweep means we'll eliminate uh, a lot of the weaker units right away. So I'm gonna pick that up now. Even though that means we don't get the sting upgrade down the road, uh, but it's fine. Endless is kind of interesting. Uh, just some basic upgrades, all right. I mean, I guess I just take a second Animus and we try to make that happen. I still don't know exactly how we're surviving the boss hitting our champion. That's gonna be that's gonna be tricky. Um, We'll need to find some way to deal with that, but beyond that, our plan is pretty reasonable at this point, I think. Um, so definitely give one of these to an Animus. Uh, and 25 health. Probably just don't do to anything. Oof, these are not quite what we're looking for. I could make one of these large, I guess, uh, really kind of taxing our sends at that point. So we'd have to always go champion at the top and like smaller animus behind it and then spread these out over two floors and eventually send them. It's not going to be easy, but it kind of has to happen anyway, so you know what, why not? Let's try it. Or I could make just a really gigantic Alpha Fiend, but I don't think that's quite the way to go. Uh, and then the other 10 attack will go on the other one. And again, skip count on the health. I'd like a battle stone over a hearthstone for, uh, for these particular units. So I might just go ahead and visit the other Merchant of Steel uh, coming up. We probably won't have the money for the trinkets anyway, so removes nice. Seems okay to me, so I won't blow any cash on the purges right now. And just see what we can get. So overall, I feel like we're in good shape, except for specifically the final boss is going to be uh, pretty tough. Okay, we have another haste granter and full heal. These guys have 100 health. Once we can get one of the ascends going, the full heal won't be that big of a deal. We have 64 pyre health remaining. I'm going to try this. It's a little bit dangerous, but... I do think we kind of need uh, need to play aggressively. Okay, that's a bad floor to get the um, reduced capacity on. Makes this a little bit more complicated, but I think we can still make it happen. Um, I'm gonna put this up here, this on the floor below, so that I can ascend it as soon as possible. This guy on the bottom. And unfortunately, it looks like we're leaking these guys, though. Hopefully, we'll draw some torches and stuff, so it should be a huge deal. Oh, actually, this guy's gonna sweep and kill them all anyway, so this wave is totally fine. Alright, sweep really coming in handy here. Um, so we'll get another Animus over there. Um, and I guess kill all these units. Yeah, I mean, I guess this health doesn't really matter, but... Oh, the fruit actually a little bit awkward there. Okay, he'll die soon enough. Uh, okay, we do find our Ascend. And the haste making this awkward, because I could just ascend to this floor and it's like pretty decent, but... Um, I don't know that I'm guaranteed to draw torches every time, so... I think I'll just ascend this smaller unit for now. 
That means we don't unfortunately kill here anymore, but we'll have a lot of extra damage uh, on the next one. And torch the haster. Uh, I guess we may as well put a steward somewhere. Alright, the other hidden passage is great, that means I can get both Animus uh, up on the top floor and now we should be totally fine, so uh, the trial ends up being pretty reasonable, uh, I like that. Uh, not a ton more we can do here. So, this will eliminate the priest, it doesn't really matter. Yeah, it's going to be hard to get everything on one floor uh, with this setup unless we can get holdover or more copies of the Hidden Passage as it is, but I think we'll still be totally fine for the time being. I can apply a couple of root seeds and uh, I keep playing these train stewards not to. This. Those guys are fine. Um, yeah, none of this looks too exciting, so I'm just gonna rail spike and see if I can't find and send. Oh, we got a pretty bad set of cards there. What can you do? I think we'll still be totally fine on the top floor. some ascends now. <laughs> I guess I'll use them, why not? There we go. Okay, well, precious blading, not what I would have chosen, but, you know, it'll help. Um, let's see here, Wildwood Custodian... Or awake. Obviously, don't need an edge prior with our lack of healing spells, so it's just between the other two. Um, there are some spots to fit a custodian, though they can end up getting screwed up by the ascends. So I uh, don't expect them to survive too, too long. I don't know how worthwhile that is versus awake. Um, <clears throat> we now know we're not getting any more awoken tanks, so this is just like, do we want a heal for 30? It's not bad. It's, uh, you know, I'll pick it up. I don't know. It's, it's not incredible, but I think it might do something. Uh, these, unfortunately, not what I'm looking for. Inflame just a little bit too weak, and obviously the M card is not doing much for us. Alright, let's see what the Merchant of Steel can give us quick. Not. Not exactly what we're looking for, given we're trying to stack on a floor that gives us a quick naturally, but <laughs> Battlestone on the Animus is certainly a welcome addition. And then we'll just do a quick reroll to look for multi strike. We get Endless instead. Um, so at this point, I probably have to just finish the Alpha Fiend off, because uh, I don't want to be hitting more Merchants of Steel. Yeah, we go Merchant of Magic here. Uh, maybe a duplicate down here. I guess there's another duplicate with a Merchant of Steel at the very end, but uh, I think I think this is gonna be fine. Could honestly even just give it the health. Um, kind of needs to stand on its own the longest, most likely. So yeah, I'll actually just do that. It's not exciting, but. Okay, lots of bad cards to remove. Uh, certainly don't need train stewards. Certainly don't need edge prior or this many torches. So, um, I think the train stewards are the worst. There's not really room for them too, too much. And let's see, do I want to buy another removal? Uh, next turn we'll 
this way. We'll get some more free removes. Uh, I'll save my cash for now. Spell Shield 2. Well, doesn't make uh, a lot of the cards in our deck not very good, but like torching these guys isn't that exciting anyway, so I think I'm okay with it. So, um, we'll go this here. Let's see. Yeah, I do need more units, so I'm definitely going to want to hit that duplicate. Uh, so, Animus. Two Animus goes here, and then three Animus. Goes to the bottom, I guess. Yeah, alright. So, we'll uh, go Alpha Fiend. Just don't even bother with these torches. Okay. Um, horn break kills this cleanly. That. Uh, then we go put you here and you down here. And luckily our champion will just wipe all these small guys out pretty uh, pretty readily here. I'm really looking for those ascends. Not finding them at the moment. Uh, let's see. You can have some extra health. You can have some extra attack. And uh, yeah, I actually don't mind pulling this to the front, I think. Seems good. Okay, there's my passages. Uh, I think we'll just fast track the animus all the way to the top. Um, start buffing it up. Sweep really just doing so much here. Um, I'm just happy to draw through our deck a little faster, and all these cards excite me. Let me draw the Hidden Passage, it's perfect, so go ahead and send this guy. Um, <coughs> this guy can just get out of the deck, don't need him. And the rest of this doesn't matter too much, we'll just get a Root Seeds and something. Yeah, I do have a few too many crappy torches in the deck. Alright, uh, we're looking good. Just keep flying root seeds. And I guess we'll start getting rid of some spell shield on the boss, maybe. Put it ahead of the tank, too. Something. This is nice, we can uh, send this guy so he doesn't buff the rest of it. Let's see, does anybody still need a heal? Yeah, let's heal this guy. Yeah, that's fine. Alright, there we go. Looking totally fine. quite a lot of money. Uh, ooh, Restoring Retreat is sort of interesting. It's another way to move our units around. So, um, we could potentially work on descending the champion, maybe, though I do kind of like it in the front, just for the purposes of um, the sweep going first, but having something like the Alpha Fiend with 90 health in the front might be good against the boss. It's definitely interesting. Uh, let's just be a little bit more flexible. I'm, I'm gonna give it a shot. I don't know how good it'll end up being ultimately. Branding right, Impish Scholar. Is there anything super good that we consume? 
We can get a rail spike back, that's kind of interesting, and a wildwood sap that's less interesting. Fire some climb with two ascends, I'm less excited about that one. Branding rate can be good. Um, again, we do need our, a way to make our champion a little bit tougher. Maybe this is it with some improvements. Let's give it a go. And yeah, definitely um, head over this way. Try to spend some of our money. Herbifrost. Okay. There might be something to permafrost. Ten magic power. Probably wants to go on a horn break so it can kill uh, larger armored enemies. And then the minus cost probably wants to go on branding right. Or maybe restoring retreat. Um, okay. We get a copy next circle, I believe. Yes. Oh, we're going to be so rich for the final one. Kind of interesting. see here. So probably worth spending the money on the permafrost even if it's pretty minimal just because we have so much. I'm just wondering if it makes sense on like a retreat. Uh, so if we say always start with Alpha Veen in the middle, uh, then we can go this on the top let's say. Uh, with maybe an animus behind it, and then play the big animus on the bottom with another small animus behind it. So the problem with that is, of course, if the four ends up somewhere else, um, gets a little bit tricky. So let's say the four ends up on the top. Um, then I guess we go Alpha on top, uh, Wildenton in the middle, and the other stuff, and then we still try to just descend. Yeah, I... This is, like, awkward, but I'll, I'll give it a shot. Uh, yeah, 10 magic power, like I said, definitely wants to go there, and I'll reduce the cost on branding, right, hoping to maybe give a double stack. Alright, we do find double stack. Uh, I do think that's pretty worthwhile. Uh, 20 magic power and consume can go on something like a torch, maybe. So define. And then another cost reduction. Uh, awake makes sense. Uh, root seeds actually sort of make sense. Awoken rail spike makes sense. I think I'll go with the rail spike. And then for our removes, uh, I'm gonna get rid of Train Steward, and I think at this point Edge Prior can go as well. The torch is doing just slightly more than that. Alright, well, we got a way to make her champion at least a little bit tougher. Still not totally confident. It is what it is. Alright, so we have a small floor on the bottom. So yeah, I think um, we'll try setting up the champion in the middle then. Uh, and kind of go from both directions. And Rail Spike seems fine here. It reduces cost by two, so we can still play all our units if we draw them. Okay, well that was a not great set, but it is what it is, I guess. Let's just go ahead and eliminate these guys. Okay, slightly awkward draw, but it's okay. Um, so I'm gonna send something immediately. Let's see, one, two, three, four, yes. I think what I'll do is... Well, actually, this kind of wants to go in the back, so I'll go Alpha Fiend, Ascend it, then Animus here, and plan to descend it when I draw that card. These weights a little bit annoying, but not a ton I can do about it. I'll just try to 
go ahead and kill these guys on the bottom if we can. In the meantime, uh, I don't want this out of the deck, but I can help for the receipts instead. And we got another one of these, that's good. I don't really need the rest of these, so I'll just hit the boss a couple times. Okay, there's a restoring retreat. Uh, I think I'm gonna just play that right away. And yeah, give our champion some armor. Uh, I'll buff this thing up. Pretty strong, pretty strong. Alright, well, the additional ascends. I guess we can ascend this guy for a little bit of value. Um, this torch is not really doing much at the moment. But again, everything except the final boss, I think this is gonna be just totally fine. Our uh, front unit doesn't need to be that tough with this much damage backing them up, so we're doing pretty all right. Uh, it's just the final boss is going to hit us a lot during the sort of setup phase, uh, and that has me worried. We're just kind of running out of time for how to address that. Uh, so I don't know that we're going to beat the final boss right now, and has me a little bit worried. And, yeah. well, I was killing two of our units, but uh, looks like we're totally fine here. Song, Spike, and Plate. Channel Song's decent, but it has the usual problem of drawing it after you've drawn all your units. And uh, we do need to play our units as soon as we get them, I think. So don't think I'm going to pick that one up, and these are just not good enough. Uh, and here I'll probably go for draw just to get through a deck a little faster. Seems good. We don't really seem to be having energy issues. Uh, Alright, and we'll definitely go this way for a duplicate. Check the champion upgrade real quick. I actually remember with the sweet... Oh, this gives it extra health, okay. Uh, almost certainly, yeah, that, that has to be the correct one. We just need as much health as possible on the champion. It's often going to end up in the front. So, grab that one. Uh, might as well grab the cash. And I do think duplicating the smaller animus uh, just makes things a little bit simpler to set up. So that, despite it uh, having a lot less health and damage, obviously. Eight extra attack. That is a whole lot of extra attack. Once we get set up, it's not a problem, but the, um, the setup stages can be extremely dangerous. These guys come in pretty big waves, we don't have a lot of ways to eliminate them. Um, again, I think I'll try it because I think we need the help for the final boss, but this could end up killing us, or at least being extremely dangerous. So, I'm only doing this uh, because I think we need the help for the final boss, not because, um, not because I feel comfortable necessarily winning here. Uh, Alright, so we have the four in the middle. It's slightly awkward. Um, I think we'll go top with these guys. Uh, definitely start to eliminate some of these weaker units. Well, 
I drew the rest of my units, which I'm sort of prized into playing here. Uh, though this animus is going to live for not very long. In fact, I might not be able to play it here. Uh, let's see. 26 and 19 is 45. Yes, that would actually just straight kill it. Um, so we might have to take things a little slow here. Um, maybe just play the Alpha Fiend for now. And hope to sweep. This does enough. Man. He has a tough spot. His torch is not doing anything. If I play both Animus... And then trying to ascend them is such a pain. I think, yeah, I think this is correct, even though uh, it does leave us short quite a bit of damage right now. Do need to get to these ascends uh, pretty quickly, and this guy does not have long. Alright, Razor Sharp will help. Uh, Root Seeds will help. And. Killing these guys will help as well. I guess I'll torch one. Maybe I can finish off another torch. Okay, well, I found the hidden passage. Uh, I 100% need to play that one. We're taking 29 damage, which is uh, not good. Not good at all. I guess it's the two deaths plus 19, so we need to find our heal, which we've already passed through, unfortunately. Um, let's see. This isn't dying, but it will die next time, so that's fine. So next turn we're taking 10 from these guys. I think I'll try the rail spike here, see if we can't find something that'll help. Okay, this sort of counts. Um, I get to eliminate a few of these units. And then... This Animus is unfortunately not the right one. i uh, definitely play Root Seeds. Yeah, and playing this just doesn't accomplish anything, unfortunately, so... We need to find our heal, uh, soon. Alright, we got there. Uh, so let's go ahead and play that. And yeah, the enemy is still having trouble getting deployed because of the massive amounts of damage coming in. So, uh... Still can't play it, I don't think. I mean, it just immediately dies, so... We'll have to try and get lucky on... Uh, the wave for, for the boss, I guess. Yeah, there's a respite. Uh, Alright, our champion is dying. Can I fix that? It's taking 15, so I'd have to kill the Darkwing somehow. I guess Branding Ride probably saves us. There we go. Um, and Sap as well. And this next one shouldn't be quite as bad, maybe. Let's see, I can kill this, which will help. Um, and actually, I guess ascending one of these... Oh no, because there's a Dark Link here as well. Uh, I guess I'll just go for more Razor Sharp Edge then, that might do something, there we go. This boss can end up being quite dangerous as well. Uh, ooh, this really helps, okay, so we get to get an extra Animus, now I feel a lot more comfortable. Um, go ahead and kill one of these, uh, get the root seeds going. Uh, 
Alright, this doesn't really do much for me, though. I can maybe get a little bit of damage in. Um, I definitely want to play Branding, right? And then I would like to kill this as well. So, uh, yeah, I think this is worth doing. I'll deal some damage. This boss, unfortunately, pretty good against the big multi strikes, but uh, looks like we're fine anyway. So, uh, all right, that was rough, but we managed to make it and not even lose any health. So, pretty strong showing, I think, from our deck. Still worried about the final boss, but hopefully with 800 gold we'll maybe find an artifact or something that helps. Let's see, Graft, Bramble Lash, Edge Briar, not what we needed. Oof, man, we are not picking up the cards we would like here, that's unfortunate. Uh, and I'm gonna go this way, we don't need another duplicate, I don't think. Maybe a second branding right could do something, but... I'd rather have the free removes and the chance to improve some more, more of our spells. Let's see what's here. Uh, regen, for stings, and oh, man, these are not great. Yeah, I don't think any of these are what we want. I mean, thorn fruit's okay, but uh, I'm just gonna go this way. Yikes. Okay, well, this is all basically horrible. Um, I guess I'll pick up a Cursed Vine because we have lots of money, but it's not good. Uh, Alright, now I'll get rid of some torches. They're pretty trash. Okay. Remove Consume, cost plus one. I don't think I'm that interested in that one. Uh, 20 magic power and consume. I am interested in maybe putting that on a torch or a vine grasp. Let's go with the vine grasp. Probably end up removing the torches here. Uh, minus one cost. Sure. Another permafrost. Man, these are just not what we need. Uh, I'll put it on hidden passage, but this is pretty bad. Uh, let's just start purging. Uh, get rid of a torch. Get rid of another torch. And horn breaks are pretty decent now. I guess the unimproved vine grasp isn't so good, so we'll get rid of that one. And reduce the cost on rail spike once more. Okay, here we go. I'm not feeling confident about this one. Okay, four floor on top. It's probably fine. So we'll be looking to send this Alpha Fiend. I do need to deploy it. This um, permafrost, I'm uh, gonna end up paying off, so that part's at least good. Let's go with one and two, and that's dazed, right? Um, yeah, I guess just root seeds is gonna be the best. Okay, I mean, that's a fine unit to get a weakness for sure. Um, yeah, I guess I'll just look to send this right away. Even though it's buffing the boss quite a bit. I don't like that part. Um, this is going to stay in my hand, so this can hang out up here until I need to descend it. Uh, yeah, let's just kill the unit in front of it. These don't really matter too much, so uh, I'll try a razor sharp edge. All right, 
right, and now we're in trouble because um, the boss is already hitting hard enough to just one-shot our champion. So I have to get this branding right, I think, is the only way to do this. I would love to play this Animus of Will. Um, let's draw six right now. Okay, so I will... I can do that. Um, can I survive right down here? It's going to take 40. It's not great, but... I don't think I can afford to not do this. Maybe I can. My deck's not very big, I guess. So maybe I can wait on it. Um, let's drop a regenerate here, then. Maybe I just want to draw the extra card. Hmm. Yeah, let's just do this for the max amount. Oh, I didn't have room in my hand. Well, okay, so I have to do this. Now we <clears throat> get to survive, which is good. Um, Happy to get rid of this, doesn't matter too much, and I guess we might as well heal him. Play Root Seed's not on the boss's floor. Okay. Um, well, we'll play another branding, right? I think I'm I'm killing this stuff quickly enough. I'm gonna continue letting the Alpha Fiends to the top and just drop it when I absolutely have to so that the boss can maybe stack some melee weakness up there instead of here. have to drop it now to... well, I actually don't even die, so maybe I don't. Uh, I will definitely be ascending this one. I'll tell you that much. And then go ahead and buff it as much as possible. Uh, heal our champion. Just taking a hit here, but maybe that's okay. Not that I can really change that much anyway. Okay. I am surviving. That's good. Uh, taking 50, of course, but you do. Is it worth casting branding right? Probably. Yeah, it only gives the boss one extra attack, so I think this is worth doing. Um, and then beyond that, not looking to cast too much on that floor. Uh, let's just hit the bigger unit. Now I'll probably need to go ahead and retreat this, uh, but we are on the last wave, so this is kind of the perfect time to do it. And he has the champion somehow at full health, so I'll heal that one. Uh, root seeds, razor sharp, uh, just more root seeds. That hitting the pyre too much. So, the boss is hitting for 30. Our champion is gonna have. Uh, not quite 90, that's unfortunate. Well, maybe we heal it enough. Let's see. Oh, it has regen on it, okay. So, it is gonna be at 92, so I'll take three hits. Just gotta hope our DPS is big enough, I guess, that it's gonna be fine. 
Um, give me an extra regen. Does that do anything? Not really, because the final hit's gonna hit so hard anyway. Uh, so just keep stacking root seeds. None of these really do anything. short. This is effectively at 92, which means if I cast any spells at all, um, I start getting killed in three hits instead of four, so I suspect playing anything makes this worse, unfortunately. Um, man. Yeah, and we didn't redraw the branding right here. That's kind of Fortunate too. Well, I don't think we can win from here, but like I guess I'll try casting these spells and see what happens. Um, even if it gets worse, it's not like I can I can do anything on the next floor. So okay, that actually helped. Oh, and now it went down, back down. I guess the regen was uh, doing something there that I didn't quite calculate the effects of correctly. Uh, I mean, I can get this guy out of the way, but yeah, we're kind of back where we started. Uh, maybe if we drew the branding right again, that would have done something, but unfortunately we did not, and much as I had worried, uh, the final boss just hitting us a little bit too hard, our champion not quite having enough health to deal with this. And the rest of our units in kind of a bad order too, with the weakest units up in the front. Alright, so there we are, unfortunately defeated by uh, Seraph the Patient. Uh, I think we gave it a, a good attempt. Um, any other boss, I think we would have comfortably beaten, but unfortunately this one uh, just does so, so much damage during the setup phase um, that our quickness does very little against, so... Um, yeah. Tough one there, but, uh, you know, we'll, we'll be back for more. And uh, thank you for watching, I'll see you next time.